today's Friday and I feel a lot better today. Yesterday I was sleeping and watching Fox News for the day while I was recovering from last Friday. And when Sean Hannity said, I like puppies, Dr. Fauci doesn't like puppies. I literally started laughing while I was waking up and I started my day that way that late last night. So the joke, I like puppies, Dr. Fauci doesn't like puppies. Imagine just sleeping and listening or watching TV while you're in your bed and then hearing that joke and then laughing. That's what happened yesterday to me watching Fox News. Now aside from that and the hour of Jillian Milley leaving, I have to say that from 2.30 p.m. all the way that I continue to watch until right now, other than Special Report, the quality of news that you guys on that network provide, it's really not strong, hard, international or national news. It's a continuation of complaining about issues and giving your stances, and stances seem to be getting worse. And while you don't seem to recruit talent, the people you do recruit, they're doing the same thing and just broadcasting news. And while we have this supply chain nightmare, it's a lot worse than you guys are reporting or think. I want to say that yesterday I did not do my take regarding that supply chain report. The fact I went into a dollar store and I couldn't find nighttime Tylenol and it just seemed like every little product that I was trying to find, I couldn't find it. So when I'm ready to pay for the order that I got, nothing that I really wanted, um, I wanted to pick up some ice cream and the M&M's ice cream sandwich wasn't even in the ice cream area so there's a lot of things that are missing the chocolate one was not there she said go look at the other ice cream area and i just didn't want to go over there because nothing else was there now the solution is pretty simple lower the gas prices people like me that you guys are making fun of that are not working or don't want to work it's not true because while i'm not viewing i'm working and I'm paying for my own gas to work and it's really expensive. And that was really mostly why I was watching the news because gas is so expensive, I had to give my car a break from wasting so much on gas because on Tuesday, out of the $99 that I earned, I spent $19 and some odd cents and that's 20% of my earnings on gas. And I worked very hard that day and that's just not supposed to be, it's supposed to be between eight and 10% at the most because I have other expenses that I have to worry about for the vehicle. So what I did was I just didn't work Thursday. This is a very nasty problem because it's an international issue. Now the issue about the supply chain and all these boats here on the coast of California and not coming aboard and doing the dock this is another emergency and versus just reporting on it you guys need to get an idea and redirect all of these things here to Florida so they could dock to alleviate at least 30 to 40 percent of the pain because some of that stuff's going to either go bad spoil or be outdated by the time it even comes out here for the products that are needed and that'll also be a complete waste we're wasting a lot because of this supply chain nightmare. And this is why it's so important because the story didn't seem to want to cover that gas prices was the number one issue in the campaign. And it just seems like it continues to be neglected. I know you guys are talking about it, but I want to also talk about something else. And this is another very important thing. Number one. The national news media and the quality of news that you're providing on a national level. Now, how does a guy like me, who has absolutely no newsroom access, works three different jobs, by himself, solo, without any access to other reporters, 
able to put more news stories on his Twitter page from other sources and newspapers, more and better than all the people combined on MSNBC, all the people combined on Fox News yesterday for that 24 hours. And I'm not going to talk about the special report hour because the entire 2.30 until right now that I tuned in, other than the special report hour, I just didn't get the information that I needed to get. Now, if you look at Jamestown Caliph on Twitter.com, I have news from all over the world that's not being reported. And the Russia COVID cases, this is very important. 44,000 people in September and a possible 90,000 in October. That's 140,000 people and no one's reporting on it. No one's also reporting on Ukraine and stuff's about to happen while Russians are putting in their tanks on those trains towards Ukraine. Also in the Syria campaign, you guys aren't talking about the way we exited Afghanistan. Those people on the ground, some groups are trying to do the same thing for our limited forces on the ground in Syria. While we don't have a policy or a stance, trying to rush out people on the ground over there. You're not reporting on it. Today's Friday, and right now there's all kinds of war going on. The Turks are bombing Hasaka. They're bombing north side of, of North Aleppo. And they are right now bombing with heavy artillery some areas. That's not being reported. So I've reported Russia, the Syria campaign, national news, local news, people news, and that's not even counting my side job that I do with food and sports. But I have to admit, I'm so discouraged to want to do national news media on a broadcast level when you guys aren't providing the actual news. Because I don't like asking to what I want to broadcast or not broadcast. And I think you guys need to air the Tucker Carlson broadcast. If you guys censor that broadcast, I'm going to be very disappointed in the network. I'm pretty disappointed in the viewer that I did, or the viewership that last day and a half or day that I watched. I'm pretty disappointed in the content other than a couple of things like Jillian leaving was cool. Special report was cool. He was standing up. But other than that, there was just, I mean, the angle really going to LA while New York has a double the trash problem. No solutions. I also have a solution to that, but I'm not giving up any of those solutions. Any of it. And I don't understand how, when I was doing the radio show, now, I'm not sure if you guys made fun of me with that horrible Blondie song yesterday on The Five, but I'm closing down the radio show because I just don't have time to do it for free. And I'm also noticing that everywhere I go, Starbucks, radio stations, they're playing out of my song list. It's okay that you guys at Fox play out of my song list because you're my listeners. And I appreciate the viewership, the ones that are tuning in. But I do get the feeling that no one's appreciating the show. And then the things that I'm doing to make the songs hard rock, I don't want you guys to take that ideas so I'm temporarily closing down the radio show because I have a regular job that I need to pay more attention to and spend my time to earn more money while everyone's telling everybody to go work but every call that I take costs me five bucks so it's important that we try to find a solution in journalism instead of just what Reed is doing badgering Kristen Cinema for not passing the infrastructure plan now, if you think about the infrastructure plan, nobody in Congress is talking about if it passes, will those gas prices go up or will they go down? Not one person's even talking about it. Oh, it's going to be great for the country. What about for the regular person who's doing regular work, three different jobs? Is it going to be good for him? The answer is no, because any infrastructure plan for any road work and any contracts appropriated money will automatically have the gas prices not be able to go down as long as that pipeline remains closed. Those gas prices are more likely to be going up. And then bringing in the Iran nuclear deal, that means you're asking to bring in Iran oil into our marketplace. 
So I don't know why Joe Biden's even over in Europe, but he just embarrassed himself. But I want to say that for the knockout blow on the media versus the media, and no one has the answer of how or why that infrastructure plan just collapsed. Well, it's exactly me laughing at Sean Harry's joke that I like puppies. Dr. Fauci doesn't like puppies. I think that I have a lot more influence that I'm giving credit for on things that are happening and not happening while the other people are giving the misinformation. Just look at my board. I have no access to any newsroom, any news board, and the people I'm following on Fox, it's pretty much entertainment because I asked them to cover certain news issues and they're not. If you look at my news and where I have on my page, I have news from all over the world, from all the countries, and that includes the national emergency. And I'm gonna leave the take right there at youtube.com.